Savvy Central Radio, drawing out the best from our guests with host Christina Nichman. Hello everyone and welcome to Savvy Central Radio. This is your host Christina Nichman. Each week on Savvy, we host successful individuals and business owners, inviting them to share their dreams, stories, wisdom, and lessons learned in their field of business. Our guest today is Vanessa Simpkins, a Skyrocket Your Confidence and Cash Flow mentor, speaker, and author of From Bankrupt to $900 a Day Selling Mops. Vanessa is the creator of the Transformational Breakthrough Summit. Vanessa helps heart-centered entrepreneurs break through their inner blocks, skyrocket their confidence, and put proven systems in place to attract more clients and make more money doing what they love. Today, Vanessa is back on Savvy to share her new book, Take Your Power Back Now, How to Overcome Your Resistance to Creating the Life You Love. To find out more about Vanessa and her new book, go to TakeYourPowerBackNow.com. Hi, Vanessa. Welcome back to Savvy Central Radio. How are you? Hey, thanks, Christina. It's so good to be back. I'm doing great. A little bit chilly (laughs) for California, but good. Well, I'm so glad to have you back. The first time we had you on to share your first book, From Bankruptcy to $900 a Day Selling Mops, that blew me away because I was like, how did you do that? And you shared that story. And now you're back to share your new story with your new book, Take Your Power Back Now. What prompted you to pen this new book? Well, the new book is really a real life story. And it's a story of my big wake up call. And I think we all have you know, these big wake up calls in life. And um, it's actually a story that I didn't really want to share. And um, it's been something on my plate for the last three or four years. And it's a story about my big wake up call. So many of your listeners might be feeling a call to do something bigger in their life. You know, maybe they're in a job or in a career that they, you know, know isn't their passion, but it's certainly paying the bills. And it's certainly more safer than going out there and reaching out into the unknown and doing something that doesn't really have a recipe attached to it. And so the book, Take Your Power Back Now, was born out of big wake-up call. So I, you know, was in a relationship for eight years with a man. It got violent once and only once. And I went kind of flying across a hotel room and opened my eyes two inches away from a big vase that you put flowers in. Mm. And I thought to myself, wow, two more inches, Vanessa, and that would have been, could have been the end of you. That sobered me up pretty quickly, and I escaped to a taxi, and I thought to myself, holy smokes, you know, Vanessa, you just became one of these statistics that you read about in the newspaper of a battered woman. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? And the next question was, God, why is this happening? Mm. And the answer, Christina, was immediate, and the answer was, so you can help women not fall into the same patterns. Mm -hmm. And then I started crying because for years, you know, I was begging God to show me the answer. You know, God, I will do it. I surrender. Show me what's my passion. What's my purpose? I was like so tired of selling these freaking mops. My first book is about the story of how I went across Canada and the States selling, you know, doing live product demonstrations, selling mops. So, you know, like many listeners here, you might be thinking to yourself, you know, there's got to be more to life than this career that and, and it certainly was the truth for me. Mm. And I told God, you know, holy smokes, like I take it back. I don't want to do this. <laughs> you know, I, you want me to go out there and share with you all of this shameful story. And this is not the deal I signed up for. I take it back. <laughs> And that's how my career was launched. And it's this often happens with most entrepreneurs. I I believe that God puts you in a big pile of crap, Mm. a big pile of shit, and it smells bad. And God will lend his hand down or source or spirit of the universe and say, let me help you out if you want, or you can stay there. And your, your exit out of that pile of shit becomes your gift and your service to the world. You know, that started my healing journey. And now I coach and train and empower women to take their power back from the mind, from fear. So, and that's why most women stay, right? Is because of the fear. They're afraid that, you know, they can't get a better job or they can't make money on their own or they're afraid they won't find a better relationship. And so the book, Take Your Power Back Now, you know, really shares with women the tools and the proven processes for up leveling your self worth, for understanding, you know, who and really experiencing yourself as, you know, a creator with that divine source. And so I'm really excited about uh, sharing it and, 
you know, that whole career was was really born from that pile of poop, you know, or mm. pile of crap. And yeah. so now I feel super blessed that I get to inspire and and share with women, you know, proven processes for taking their power back and thriving, both, you know, mindset tips and also sales and marketing and mastery tips to help women really understand, you know, the game of sales. You know, most women of most entrepreneurs would love to have a coaching or consulting business and they just really don't, they don't know why they can't get themselves out there. Mm -hmm. And so what I do now is help women really focus on overcoming the fear and helping them have the clarity and the confidence and of course the cash flow strategies. Mm. Yeah, and it was quite an honor to read your second book. I I could relate to a lot of parts of it. And that pile of crap you talked about many years ago, I made the big mistake of asking God, I want to be peace in the world, the light in the world. And so then I got chaos like you wouldn't believe in my life. And about a year in full of war and chaos in all areas of my life, I thought, what the heck am I? Why am I getting all this stuff in my life? And then I remembered my prayer asking that I shall be peace in the world. Well, what do you need in order to be peace in the world, but war so you can make peace? I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> right, you got to be careful what you ask for because you're really going to get it. And and then you got to do something about it, right? Exactly. But I have to say it was a great blessing. And that's the thing when you say a pile of crap, you can stay in that pile of crap or look for the gift in the pile of crap which that moment for me, allowing me to be the peaceful negotiator in those terms of turmoil and chaos, allowed me to be a stronger individual and, and learn skills I didn't realize I had, like negotiation and peace skills and stuff like that. And so I noticed you mentioned that this was kind of the breaking point, what happened to you in that car and that one event that kind of propelled you forward to discovering your new path. Why do you think it takes some time for all of us, or not all of us, but many of us, crisis for us to really, or that two by four up the head before we really make any changes? Mm, well, Christina, it's a great question, you know. And Christina's talking about, you know, the book, Take Your Power Back Now, which you can find on my site, takeyourpowerbacknow.com. And, you know, I believe that humans are, we're creatures of habit. And we we are run by something much smaller than our capacity. We're, we, we give our power away to the mind, to the ego, which is always trying to protect us using fear. And we make decisions when we're younger, when we're children, that getting out of our comfort zone is dangerous, that, you know, not to take a risk because we might fail and then we might die. And mm-hmm. so it often takes a really big two by four in, in upside the side of the head. I have a friend who says, you know, from now on, I just ask God for toothpicks instead of two <laughs> by four wake up calls. And I'm like, I'm down for that one too. So, you know, we're creatures of habit. And, and oftentimes it's when I coach a lot of women, they come to me when the fear of staying the same, mm. right? That pain is now greater, has now become greater than the fear of failure. Mm. And ooh, then it, 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 you know, they tip over on the other side. And they're like, okay, now I'm really ready to do something. I'm ready to make the commitment and make the changes in my life and my business. Mm. So we're really creatures of habit. And, you know, we just got to give ourselves a bit of space. And it's like learning how to ride a bike and learning how to change your life. Like give yourself some, give, cut yourself some slack. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you mentioned before, and this is a really important part of it. Talk a little bit about the faith and, and surrendering. Cause you mentioned that you had done those two actions. How does that play a role in you creating your dreams? Well, that's a great question. You know, you can fight life. We kind of have made some agreements before we come into this world know about the kind of people that we're going to be or the kind of things that we're going to do like you said christina i want to be peace Mm -hmm. you know and i believe that you know we have these ideas or these callings to do bigger things in the world because it's our soul that's reminding us saying hey don't forget me (laughs) you know don't forget what you signed up to do and you can tell that that's really what it is because it won't leave you alone Mm -hmm. you know it just keeps kind of knocking and scratching and it's like this annoying little puppy that, you know, whines and cries outside your door. Open the door. Yeah. Let me in. You're like, oh, God, it's so inconvenient. You know, it's really not convenient. Mm. You know, showing up and saying yes to God, if it's not convenient. Well, doing your purpose is not convenient. I think 
I'm going to go on a mini tangent here, but I'm going to answer your original question after this one. And people think that, oh, if this is my purpose, you know, it's, it should be easy. There's nothing farther than the truth. It's, it's not going to be easy to get out of your comfort zone. Do it anyways. It's totally worth it. And, and that's where the surrender comes in. Okay, fine. I'm going to open that door. Scary as all hell. I don't know how this is going to happen. There's no recipe out there to, you know, where's the recipe? Who, who's got the recipe to become, you know, what this thing is calling and knocking on my heart? No one's got it. I've got to figure it out by myself. Or uh, entrepreneurs, that's the path. The path is this uncertain kind of risk taking and um, launching yourself into your creative endeavors and showing up and honoring those. And there's no guarantee. It's, it's, I think entrepreneurs are like a real, you know, the real own breed. So, you know, that's where the active surrender comes in. It's like, okay, God, you know, you want me to do this? Fine, I'll do it. And if you want me to do this, you better, you know, bring on this or, you know, bring on the clients or you know, show me the signs or make it really clear. You can ask for those things. Mm hmm. And, you know, you, you'll get the answers, but it's, it's when you, when you force and struggle and continue on a path when all the doors are closing mm. and you keep hanging on for dear life by the hair of your chinny chin chin because you're terrified to let it go. Yeah. That's when you get the two by four. And unfortunately, a lot of people in corporate jobs or, you know, in a relationship doesn't work or going down maybe a health track that, you know, they know they need to change and they're just, you know, maybe too lazy or too afraid or, you know, too programmed. Mm, yeah. Get the, the wake up call. And so that's when, you know, you'd, you'd use the surrender and, and just ask. You'll get answers. Mm, ask and obey. Because I, I had heard you mention that one of the things that really gets in our way of living our best life is God gives you the answers sometimes and the opportunities, but we ignore them because we're like, well, this is comfortable where I am here. I don't want to go there. It'll be uncomfortable. It'll be different. And I'll have to challenge myself. I, I'll just stay here. But so it's kind of like twofold. We say to God, we want something different, but then we don't really want to step out and, and take the options that he presents us sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and Christine is talking about my book, Take Your Power Back Now, which you can find on Amazon and also my website, takeyourpowerbacknow.com and the whole notion of obeying God. I mean, this it, it, this actually freaks people out. You know, just the word obey, people have some real resistance to this word. And let me mm -hmm. tell you, I was the first person. You just tell me the word God. And I was like, wait a second, you're saying God, you can say, you know, source you know, Buddha, Allah, Abu Dhabi, universe, you know, the light, whatever you want to call that greater force out there in the world. It's, it's not convenient. Right now I'm here in, in Southern California and, you know, I've been living in Hawaii for the last year and a half and ship my truck and I have my dog here and I'm looking for a place that feels right. And I'm in kind of flux and all the chips are like, whoosh, mm. whoop, thrown up in the air, you know, whoop. <laughs> There's nothing certain here. And this is just me, you know, honoring that, okay, well, the last time I was in California this whole year, it's been like, yes, 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 come to California. And now I'm in the thick of it. I'm here kind of nosing my way through and it's not totally convenient. I don't have all my nice things with me. Half of them are, you know, at a friend's house. Half of them are in Hawaii. My truck's not here yet. You know, everything's kind of new. It's not really convenient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that this is, this is the right thing to do. And when you do sign up for this mission and you do say yes to that calling, it's not going to be convenient and, and obey it anyways, because that source spirit has got a way bigger bird's eye view than you can see right now. And isn't that often true? I mean, when you look back in your life, you know, to some of the, the, the impossible times when you thought, my gosh, you know, like, what's going on here? Is there, is there even a God? This is awful. And then you look back, you know, six months later and you're like, oh, that's why that had, that was a good one. You know, <laughs> that was good. I didn't see that one coming. So, mm. You know, trying to keep perspective on hindsight can help, too. Yeah, I think you might have heard of it, too, that uh, there's a saying that God sees the needle point in the front where you actually see the pretty picture. But most people, we're seeing the backside where it's all messy and the needle point looks like a big mesh of, of yarn and string or whatever. But God sees the picture on the other side all worked out. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. A cool way to look at it. Well, another cool thing that Take Your Power Back now mentioned that really uh, has affected me in my life a lot, and I struggle with a lot of other women, is the people-pleasing thing. You know, they put themselves last. Why can people-pleasing be a bad idea to help you grow? And how can you fully, can you really fully serve from that area? Uh, Share more about that. That's a great question, Christina. And I guess it comes from a programming that unfortunately most people, you know, we all grow up with and it's needing to please other people, needing approval outside of ourselves. Mm. And it's, it's almost like a disease. You know, I, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And some people go to their grave with it and it's not true. And, and so one of the things I'm so passionate about teaching right now is this decide, commit, expand a recipe. It's really my recipe for, you know, creating a life, creating change. And all the things that I teach entrepreneurs and women, it's really from my own life experience. And I've had an amazing life. I've had, I've not been lucky. I don't believe in luck. I had a lot of hardships, but I've also experienced life. And what I've come to understand is that power of decision, the pa- that your ability to decide is where we either take our power back or we give it away. And so the moment when you work for kids, we make the decision that, you know, well, mommy and daddy need to love me in order for me to survive. It's a normal decision every, you know, five or six or 10 year old kid makes, right? We, we are at the mercy of our parents. Well, what happens when you're 45 years old and you're still kissing ass to your boss and you're making, you know, 12 or $15 an hour and you hate your job and your life sucks, Mm. you know, that program is still running. Mm. And so the good news is, to change that subconscious programming requires just a decision, right? It was just a decision that you made when you were 5, 6, 12 years old. Well, it's just a decision now. So how do you turn it off? Like today, you notice, okay, I, I'm kissing my boss's butt like you wouldn't believe and I'm staying crazy ass hours. How do you shift that? Well, you've got to prove it to yourself. And it's very simple. So your power back requires you to you know, make a new decision and not let the fear and the self-doubt and the worry and all of those lower emotions, right, mm-hmm. take you out of your truth. Your soul's always there with, hey, this is the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. And most times people choose on the side of their feelings, right? Oh, this feels bad. This is scary. I'm not going to do this. Mm. And that's in the moment right there, they give their power away to the ego, to the minds, to the lower self. And the lower self is always trying to protect you using fear. It's a sneaky thing. It wins. Mm. And what you've got to do is prove to yourself that you are not those feelings. That The whole world's waking up to this now. This is a profound time in the world. Mm. I mean, there are more millionaires out there, people doing extravagant, wild things. I look back to my parents, my father's generation, just the, you know, if you traveled back then, that was cool. Mm. Think about what the possibilities, of technological advancements, the things that are happening in the world. Where does all that come from? It comes from people saying yes to that creative urge and following it and not letting this rinky dink ass fear and other excuses and other feelings hold them back from saying yes, following that, taking the risk. I think that, you know, human evolution is really, you know, knocking on everyone's heart. So how do you break away from that? Well, it's like almost like feeling the fear and do it anyways. Try it. Try saying no sometimes and seeing what happens. Mm -hmm. Because the alternative is to stay in that situation where you beat yourself up and you hate yourself and you hate your boss, you hate your life. And what does that do for you? Mm, Absolutely nothing. (laughs) Right. And what if you may, what if, what if that guy actually did fire you because you didn't want to comply and then you created space for some other more, way cooler, amazing opportunity to show up in your life? You know, there's a chapter in my book that I talk about as well. We've got to close one chapter before you can app, you know, open up a new one. The universe abhors a vacuum. So you've got to literally create space for something new to show up and you can't invite something new in while you're still hanging on to something that doesn't serve you. So there's a lot of courage here. Mm. and blind faith that has to happen. And, you know, the good news is you can start with just small little baby steps. Mm. And what I recommend everyone do, and you can find out more in the book, Take Your Power Back Now, which is available on my site, takeyourpowerbacknow.com or on Amazon. 
comes with over $500 worth of really awesome video trainings and interviews with some of my favorite people and experts in the personal development industry. Start asking God for a sign. Start building that relationship. We are taught as I mean, I, I was taught, I was not raised religious. I was not raised, you know, even spiritual, but I was also not, I was raised on cartoons. I was not raised to even understand what a conscious relationship with source or God was all about. And I believe that that's really at the, the root of all of the problems in the world. Mm. We took the time to build that relationship instead of looking for our happiness in that job in that relationship and that money and that nice fancy car. Mm, yeah. And but to really understand that life really has our back, that, you know, we're supported in all the things that we need. Mm, absolutely. I mean, that has totally been true for me. Every time I put my my life and followed God, things have totally magically changed for me. It's just that letting go of what we think might happen or how we think the best way is if we let it go. Uh, it's amazing. The I, I remember many years back, I was out of work for six months and I was about to run out of money and I was super scared. But one day I just said, you know, I'm just going to do my thing with going out for interviews and stop sweating it. And a week later, I had a, a, one of the best jobs I ever had yet. So, I, I mean, mm -hmm. it goes to show when you just Stop trying to fix everything. But girls, share with us some of the amazing stories you've had with clients, success stories from Take Your Power Back Now and, and stuff that you've used from the lessons learned and techniques in that book. Do you have any success stories you'd like to share? Oh, I mean, there's there's a ton of <laughs> testimonials. If if anyone's listening and you know is interested, there's a whole slew of them on my site, takeyourpowerbacknow.com. Just hit the testimonials tab at the top. But um, I'll share with you actually a recent testimonial that I had with one of my clients was on the phone with her the other day, uh, Jeannie from Hawaii, and she runs a, a holistic center in Hawaii. She came to see me and started working together. And just recently, I have a 10K in 30-day group, and I help entrepreneurs. This is a high-level mastermind, and I help them you know, up-level their self-worth and get their offers straight and really help them understand what this game of sales is all about and really to do it authentically by using the power story. And so... We were talking about 2015 and your goals for this year. She was saying, well, I want to, I want to save, you know, X, Y, Z amount of money this year. And she said, I want to save, you know, I want to start, I want to save more money this year. And I said, okay, well, how much do you want to save? And she said, well, what's realistic? And I said, well, wait a second, baby. <laughs> wait a minute, baby. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and so, you know, I'm going to always answer these, have these long winded answers, but I feel just compelled to always, you know, share something that's going to really inspire and empower people to make change in their life. You know, she came to see me, she just celebrated having the making the biggest sale of her life very recently. And I said to her, so before you came to see me, you, you didn't even fathom the idea of making a sale of that amount, you know, for your one year coaching program. Mm. And now, you know, here you are, trying to base your goals on what's realistic. <laughs> so what the real realistic is a very dangerous word in my opinion because you know you cannot base your future on the past and that's what most people are trying to do. Mm. So I have a lot of testimonials of women really breaking through their income barriers. Lisa uh, was a recent client of mine. She she was stuck in her business she wanted to really she was stuck because she, she wasn't finding her business fun anymore. It wasn't, it wasn't what she wanted to do. And she wanted to help her husband retire and kind of write his own book. And she, they wanted to have another baby. And she got started working with me and she uh, closed the sale for 37,000 pounds in her first month. So mm -hmm. a lot of my clients do much more than, you know, 10,000 uh, in sales. Susanna is another client of mine. All of them just real rock stars. You know, I work with a lot of spiritual women and they have so much to, you know, share with the world. And they're often kind of perplexed that, well, I got so much to offer. How do I, what do, what do I do first? And so we got her offers together and she did the $20,000 in, in sales her first month, which is awesome. Yeah. And, and that's a life change. You know, she invited me to Thanksgiving dinner with her husband. It was just so nice. Then she said, I'm just so thankful for you this year. And I was like, wow, this is, this is awesome. This feels great you know, to be able to help people with that. 
There's so many mind shifts in, in your book, Take Your Power Back Now, How to Overcome Your Resistance to Creating the Life You Love, the Ultimate <laughs> Confidence Guide for Women. It's true. I was doing a lot of the exercises, going through it, recalling my path, my difficulties here and there, things I'm still working on. It is the book to help you break that barrier. And if you need more help, contact Vanessa. Again, Vanessa, they can reach you at TakeYourPowerBackNow.com. Yeah, my site, TakeYourPowerBackNow.com. Or you can also find me on Facebook, Vanessa Simpkins, or the Bikini Business Coach. It's my fan page. Love that. <laughs> yeah. I am tell people I do not sell bikinis, but I can teach you how to rock your business in one if you want and create a portable, profitable business. You can also find me on Twitter and uh, YouTube and LinkedIn as well. Awesome. Well, do you have any last parting words you'd like to leave with our listeners before we head on out? Yes, I do. Just make a decision. You know, whatever it is that you want, write it down, make a goal. Just decide that you're going to do it. Decide you're going to do it and then commit to it. Go all in. And that's really how you open the door for the expansion, the unraveling, the happening. It's not not happening outside you. There's no force outside you that's going to pull you out of it. It's, it's really your decision. And once mm-hmm. you make that decision, then God or life can come rushing in and help you fulfill it. Awesome ending. It's so true. We were granted the wonderful gift of free will. So go out there and make a decision and commit to your dreams today and go and get Vanessa's new book, Take Your Power Back Now. And thank you so much, Vanessa, for coming to Savvy Central Radio. Oh, always a good time. Thanks for having me, Christina. For those interested in joining our Savvy family or being a paid sponsor or interviewing with us, contact us at Savvy Central Radio at gmail.com or 718-713-2289. And remember, we want to host the programming you're interested in. If you have a guest you'd like to hear on Savvy or a topic you'd like us to cover, please let us know. Oh,